Joy and I have just arrived at the K-25 Heritage Center. And we've arrived to an otherwise empty parking lot. That's weird. Um, it's a Saturday morning, so, I mean, I guess I would have thought that there would have been people around. Uh, let me make sure that I've locked the doors here for Joy. And let's go take a look and see what we can find. Uh, presumably, this is like a museum. There's another museum uh, here in the area that deals a little bit more extensively with America's nuclear energy and uh, nuclear materials production. Uh, so if you've kind of put two and two together, good for you. Um, but uh, for those of you who haven't, and I know I wouldn't have because uh, I had to look it up uh, to try and figure out what it was or what it is, uh, I'm in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, or the Oak Ridge, Tennessee area. And this is where um, we developed the nuclear materials that initially, of course, were used in World War II and then later became part of our security and energy industry. So you'd think that there'd be something going on here, but I don't know. Um, maybe I stopped too soon on the drive-in. Maybe there's a Another place up ahead? I don't know. We'll just walk and find out. I'm approaching a building now. Which says that it's available. So... Yeah, I don't know. This is weird. This is an odd contraption in the middle of nowhere. Not entirely sure what that is. Fuses, apparently? Okay. Um, yeah, kind of weird. Kind of like a ghost town. Somebody's pulling out here onto the highway, or they're in the lower visitor center parking lot. I came to the upper one. These sidewalks have seen better days. At least somebody's around to put a cone out saying, watch out. Well, there's lots of grasshoppers here too. Look at them all. Wow, they're everywhere. Empty flagpoles. Very, very strange. Look at all the grasshoppers.
Well, I'm going to look and see if I can figure out what this building is. Pine cone. Aluminum Street, or aluminium if you're in the UK, I guess. COVID-19 safety considerations. Doesn't look like this has been used in a while. Looks like a small little conference center. A U-shaped conference setup with a table in the front. Locked. Interesting little rock garden thing here. But it looks in disrepair. Well, it looks like there's some signage up front. Let's see what that says. Building K1000. This building housed the main K25 badge and pass facility for many years during the Cold War and uh, reindustrialization period. Over many decades, thousands and thousands of shoes from wingtips to work boots stopped at this spot to enter the high security roto gate okay interesting Two hundred Heritage Center Boulevard, the Heritage Center. Yeah, so why is it just a ghost town? I mean, presumably there's, uh, according to Google, there's like a five dollar uh, entry fee for seniors, ten dollars if you're not, uh, five dollars for kids too, and um, so. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Uh, I don't get this. It's. Um, I don't know. We'll just keep walking. Cause I mean, you know, might as well get some steps in today, right? <laughs> I've been kind of sitting on my butt for a while doing videos, so wouldn't hurt me at all. So I mean, there's some trucks over there, and I almost have to wonder if. Um, that over there has something to do with it? Well, this is the street that I came in on, so there's that. Um, the parking lot is just uh, behind the uh, Heritage Center uh, that we just walked past. And so I could have just kept coming up this way to see what was here. But I thought, well, no, it said visitor parking, so I thought I'd be a good visitor and just park in the visitor parking. But... Hmm. A big bang over there. I don't know if it's hunting season or not. Chromium Street. I wonder if they gave these names to the streets after um, it was understood what was going on here. Because my understanding is that when this uh, whole complex was constructed, even the construction workers had no clue what they were building. And the people that worked here, they also didn't have any sort of a complete picture about what was going on here. They might have known little bits and pieces of it, but they were told to 
keep mum about their work here. So, and it's unlikely that any one individual would have had enough information to uh, actually spill the beans on the whole operation. But look, this is all new stuff here, and I don't know what it's for. It looks like it's potentially HVAC equipment. I don't know. Piping of some sort. So there's a Apollo on that building over there. Huh. Well, I'm feeling like, <laughs> well, that's in interesting. Uh, nice little road symbology. You don't see that on every road, do you? Um, beautiful mountains here in the area. I had to come through a rather twisty, curvy, up and down, hilly kind of um, highway to get here. So that was fun. I am thinking, though, that probably the best course of action right now would be to just go ahead and go back to Joy, hop in and come and drive up along this road and see what we find. Uh, Victor Boulevard. Heritage Center Boulevard. Yeah, so... Looks like something's being built here, but I haven't a clue what. So I'm gonna head back, hop in Joy, and we're gonna come drive this way. Um, <laughs> I mean, it would be good to get in some more steps. But, um, I don't know how far I'd have to go, to be honest. So, we'll just uh, take a nice little stroll back. And, uh, rather than subject you to that, I will kill the video right here and, uh, Pick back up with you once I've figured something out. A few moments later. Okay, I think we uh, may have found the real visitor center. And um, I don't know what's going on here, but there's like some beautiful cars right over here. <laughs> This is uh, very much an aside. <laughs> Has nothing to do with the K-25 History Center, or Heritage Center, depending on what it is that you want to call it, apparently. But look at some of these cars, holy crap. Just beautiful. A Viper GT, Corvette. All of them are Corvettes. But, oh, wow. Yep. So yeah, like I say, I don't know <laughs> what's going on with the whole car show thing. I don't know whether just a bunch of Corvette enthusiasts decided to come out and visit the K-25 Heritage Center or what's going on, but I don't know. That's uh, different. I wasn't expecting that. 
Um, this thing across the street says Emergency Operations Center. So, of course, I parked in front of it because, you know, joy should be a part of any emergency operations. So, I don't know. We'll go check in at the, um, at the uh, museum proper and maybe they'll let us know what that's about. Okay, these signs are um, apparently reminiscent of, or uh, were the kinds of signs that the workers saw, is I guess what I'm understanding. Are you working every day? Stay on the job? Finish the job. Okay. We'll swap foxhole home with outside exposure. Neighbors, sometimes noisy. Okay. Who, me? Yes, you. Keep mum about this job. Alright, so you can't talk about it. Looks like there's a lot of construction going on here. I have no idea what the heck this whole thing is about. But I'm going to turn off the camera now as I go inside and we'll learn what's going on. Okay, yes, this is in fact a museum. So I paid my five dollars and here we are. There's apparently going to be a film that I can watch. But... In the meantime, we'll just kind of look around, and I'm given the green light to film, so that's cool. Oh, and also, I was given a, um, if I can find it, A security clearance card. This card entitles the bearer access to secrets of K-25 and Manhattan Project. So that's cool. The site also needed major power and water. So, Clinton Engineer Works was located here in the Clinch River Valley of Tennessee. The town is now known as Oak Ridge. It has been critical to our national defense and to world safety to develop this site. All right, let's see what my card will access. I think I got it right. <laughs> it doesn't seem to fit in there. There, I guess that worked. Okay, this is kind of fascinating. They have different prefab houses. One wonders why we don't have this kind of housing today. Maybe we do, and I'm just not aware of it, but this is fascinating. Kind of like tiny homes, 
I think. I don't know. It's going to show us the floor plan here in a second. Yeah, very cool. I don't know how many square foot that is, but that's an interesting little modular home.
As I'm sure you've discovered through this video, there's a lot to be seen at the K25 Heritage Museum. Go check it out for yourselves if you're in the Oak Ridge, Tennessee area. Definitely worth a stop. This facility has been pivotal in world history in so many ways. Sadly, the world has a very negative impression and dislike of nuclear power owing to one of its first uses as a weapon, but also because of a very small number of quote-unquote incidents. Three Mile Island, in which the amount of radioactive material released was laughably small and non-threatening. Chernobyl, and most recently Fukushima. Now, whereas I might suggest that building nuclear power reactors in earthquake and tsunami prone areas is questionable at best, our fear of nuclear power would appear to be out of touch with reality. Nuclear power has a safety record far surpassing all other forms of power generation. We continue to develop safer technologies, mitigating the seemingly scary consequences assumed to be waiting for us should we expand our use of nuclear power. That includes reusing spent reactor fuel that is still rich in usable energy. I am not a believer in the so-called climate crisis. Sorry if that bursts anyone's bubble. What I do believe is that nuclear energy is the cleanest and safest alternative energy source on the planet and would love to see us take a breath and look to the science of nuclear energy in that light. See you in the next video.